What is up you guys? Hope you're doing well as always, but in today's video, we're going to be talking about part 2 of the 49cc4 stroke build. So I'll give you guys a little backstory. Last video, we went ahead and tore the engine apart and we started sanding some stuff. Today, we went ahead and painted a lot of the engine parts. Now I'll give you guys a quick sneak peek and how this thing turned out. Okay guys, here's the sneak peek of the engine. You can see how well this thing turned out. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video, is the painting process. Okay guys, so I went ahead and prepped most of the parts. I'm still waiting on a few other things I'm currently paint stripping. But right now, I went ahead and just sanded the um, mounting plate. And I did it with, in the last video you guys might have saw, but today I went ahead and sanded a bare metal off camera. In the back, I went ahead and sanded a little bit. Obviously, there's a lot of pitting, so you won't even see the back. All you're going to see is the front and the sides. Moving on to the valve cover, once again, the metal is very pitted up, but with some primer, um, you know, some metal primer and stuff like that, I think we can make it look great. And then, of course, we have the engine mounts here, which are just 8mm hardware. Um, that goes on them, and I clean those up as well. Once these are painted, they're going to look really good. The um, little sh engine shroud over here, I'm going to go ahead and paint red, just because it was red at the beginning. And I was going to do black, but I think that's just too much black in the engine. we got to add some contrast. So I'm going to do this like the red it had. But that's just kind of an update on the paint situation. Catch you guys back when I have this all painted. So now I'm going to go ahead and preheat the engine plate. You may ask why I would do this, but because I live in a colder climate, it's necessary to do to get the paint to stick to the metal. I don't care if you sand it with 600 or 1000 to make it really smooth. If the metal is cold, the paint will do a thing called fish eyeing, and you'll end up with a really bad finish. So I just preheat it until it gets to around 20 degrees Celsius, and you do need a heat gun for it. But then after that, honestly, it's just the painting. Okay guys, so this is how the base plate turned out on the first coat. I'm going to let this dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then I'll apply a second coat of the AB stuff. And we'll just see how it goes. But so far it's looking pretty good. There's no fish eyes. There's no, you know, runs like the old paint that I was using. So we'll just see what it has in store for this. And one more thing I forgot to mention. After you go ahead and preheat the part and once you spray it with spray paint, you also want to preheat it after. That way the paint actually sticks to it before it cools down again. So just keep that in mind if you're working in a colder climate. Okay, so now we're going to be coating the valve cover. And the valve cover is, it looks rough because the metal's quite old and nasty. So I just smoothed out best I can. But I can guarantee you once I get some silver paint on there, I think it'll look pretty decent. Um, but after I coat this, obviously you're not supposed to do the inside because that's where your um, lifters and stuff go. But yeah, it should be pretty easy to do and I don't see any issues with this. Okay, so now I'm applying the cherry red. I picked it up at the hardware store and I thought it was a lot brighter than this and I noticed that the rust was showing through. So I kind of got worried at first but I just kept spraying and spraying and before I knew it I applied a second coat and here's how it turned out. And for the engine cover I just went ahead and sanded with 1000 grit and just went ahead and got all the gas tans off of it and I'll show you guys how that turned out. Alrighty guys, so I just went ahead and mocked up the engine a little bit. You can see I got that valve cover installed and I got the side cover on and I think it looks pretty decent and yeah, pretty good restoration overall. Up here is a little black so I'm probably going to hit that with some red and these plates turned out really nice as you can see and the brackets as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and touch that up. It's really noticeable on camera, but not so much in person. 
and I'll catch you guys back when I have that done. Okay guys, now I'm just going to go ahead and tighten up the carburetor. Just cross tighten them little by little. And I got some of the other parts just waiting on. Um, I mocked up the engine as some of you guys know, but I took it back apart just to touch up some paint. But that carburetor bowl looks pretty good. I went ahead and painted it black. And uh, catch you guys back when I have the side covers on. Alrighty guys, so I just went ahead and give you a little update on the engine. So I went ahead and put that extra red up top and I think it looks pretty good. I preserved the sticker as always. And I went ahead and painted that valve cover. Excuse me. It looks really good. This transmission cover, I'm going to have to go ahead and redo these two mounting brackets, uh, the cast iron mounting brackets I just started sanding, and of course we have the frame brackets, which I already painted and they look pretty good. Um, the reason that I'm not buying new parts of this project is because a new transmission is $149 from Groupie.net, and you know, pull starter parts and carburetor parts aren't very cheap, so that's why I had to paint certain things like the bowl and paint certain things like the side cover, so... Yeah, it's just overall a really expensive way of restoring it if you're doing it that way. On the other hand, you could paint stuff like I do, get this really cool finish on the motor, and I think it looks really good. Like I said, the shine is really nice. And uh, once I get a bike to throw it on, I think she'll be really good to go. So guys, I know that was a lot of painting to do in one video, but I wanted to show you how I do painting and stuff like that, and just showing you working on my engines in general, because a lot of you guys think that, you know, I just talk about my engines a lot and I don't necessarily work on them. That's just not the case. I work on my bikes 24-7, and, well, not 24-7, but you guys know what I mean. Like, I actually do my own work, so I don't pay somebody to do it or anything like that. But, um... This is going to, you know, this video will show you how to restore one of these small engines for real cheap. And, you know, just give you a real idea, you know, how to fix one up. But that's all I got for you today on this one. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Catch you guys next video in peace. And have a wonderful day as always.